morning. So today I want to give you a little walkthrough about actually what is application navigation and user interface in service now, right? So today I'm going to cover all these uh, topics in the navigation, how we can navigate various parts global search as well as the filter navigation and favorites and your history and impersonate user how we can able to impersonate the user and help icon as well as the connect chart as well as the system settings for logged in user and user menu and finally minimize navigation <clears throat> so so let's go for global search let's open my developer instance i will show you in real time so here my developer instance so first of all which we talk about global search right here you can see right top we have a global search correct so actually this global search will allows us to enter the keywords to search the whole instance for matching records correct so here whenever you will type your viewer your RITM task whatever you want to search here you can type it so it will show you the matching records right it will actually show you the total number of matching records is displayed here so there is no total number of matching records for this record so because of that it shows it as zero results for matching correct so here you can search for the specific record by number or opening them in the result list, right? So here if that uh, the record is suggesting it will show you the match otherwise it will show you the zero result match. So because of this global search it, it is easy way to navigate and easy way to search the records from from the system instead of going the modules and opening the particular record this is an easy way by using the global search that is the advantage of global search so so after that we can discuss about filter navigation here you can see in the left top filter navigation whatever you wanted to check for the modules whatever the customizations you want to do on top of it on top of it so in that case you can able to build and create your custom applications on on OBB functionalities on top of the OBB functionalities right so i want to just i want to open the incident so if you click you can type here incident you can see all the incident related modules and sub modules create new assign to me and open open assign and resolve as well as all uh, these are the sub modules in incident likewise you can able to open problem change and whatever it may be you want to customize some client scripts you can here you can type it as client script all right so if you so if you want to type it as client script it will useful for you to take correct uh, modules right so this is all about actually the filter navigation after that you can see here uh, the favorites so whatever you want to oh, search and whatever you want to navigate quickly those fields you can able to favorite on you in here in your history right so i want to favorite this link so i can drag and drop from here so that uh, it will be like uh, adding in a favorites right so we can drag and drop and in favorites from the list view you can drag and the list so that it will be easy to navigate for you for the next time so this is all about favorites and and if you go to the history your history whatever the data you are browsing recently right so that browsing history it will show it in the in the uh, history right? history part right your history part so just now I have searched incidents user admins and proxy data right so because of that here it is appearing right that is a uh, use of the history as well right so here you can go for impersonate user so here if you see here in the right corner you can see user menu so if you click here in the user menu you can see profile 
so it will tell you the details of the profile first name last name and email whatever it may be you can see number of fields which is available for that user so again if you click here and you can see the impersonation user role so what is this impersonation role right so actually <coughs> whenever you want to impersonate for the other person behalf of them that case we can use this one and actually uh, impersonation user is available for all the users right with admin and whoever having the impersonation role as well as the admin role they can able to impersonate uh, with the other users behalf of them right actually it it it, it allows to view all the instances from under user perspective and which is handy for testing and troubleshooting purpose as well right so if i want to check for some so on so on person so able to twitter right so i want i'm impersonating with this user id i can able to see uh, his uh, view in the service now right right this is the actually beauty of service now so i can able to investigate if he is encounter any issues as a admin i can able to impersonate and i can resolve that the person issue right that is the beauty of impersonator so if if you want to go back to my administration account i can able to click here and impersonation so that it will take me to the my administration instance back right so here my instance so after that we can talk about the help icon so here you can see toggle help slide bar so this toggle help uh, icon actually whenever you are clicking in the help icon it will displace the contextual help so it will displace the contextual help and you can add help articles and you can read the help articles so you can you can yeah you can search here for the document uh, for the help icon and uh, if available in the help slide bar if this available in the help slide bar and you if you have any doubts you can able to chat with them directly right so for that we can discuss about <coughs> connect chat correct so connect chat so what is this connect chat how it will useful for connect chat so here you can see right top uh, toggle connect slide bar right see here this is actually we can call it as connect chat as well we can open the real time messaging tool by using this one and we can connect chat and we can chat together with the uh, help desk guy so whenever you can <coughs> chat with the other person you can able to connect the conversations and you can yeah if you see here uh, if you click on plus symbol you can add the user here something like i want to add some user so here i can able to add to so multiple users i can chat with them if i have any issue so they can resolve it uh, fastly so so this connect chat will very useful for the end users and uh, whomever have facing some issues maybe uh, they can connect through this chat and they will people will reply as a sap right and we can get whatever the uh, needed help which we are looking for so we can go for the system settings for the logged in users so here you can see top right end you can see the settings if you click here it will take you to the um, different settings so we have actually this settings is where individuals users are personalized this user interface for themselves right so here you can see general here in the general you can able to see various components time zone whatever the time zone you are working in you can set up i am working in the um, ist time zone i want to set that i can able to set it for that all right so gmt time zone central us central right so i can select my time zone here 
So keyboard shortcut, shortcuts enable and home pages and date and time, all the stuff it will visible for you. So if you click on here in the themes, so whatever the background themes you want to apply, you can able to select this theme, right? Accessibility. So this is accessibility will tell you data visible patterns enabled and accessibility enabled. So whatever the radio buttons which you can see, we can utilize this one. I can, if I click this one, show records preview, <coughs> we can able to see this in a slash buckets, right? So if I click on the list, here you can see the wrap longer text in the list columns. You can, I have selected it as yes. And you can see it as form. Here you can see the table forms and the related list loading with the forms are how it will be, right? So after that, you can see notification. Here, here, here you can allow all these notifications. Then only you will receive the notifications to your instance. So here, primary email, you can always, right? You can see different various modules. Different various modules here and uh, the custom customizations, right? So if I click on developer instance, this is the main actually when we work on the real time, correct? So here you can see application, always it which application should be global. If you if you are you customizing for some catalog items, you can select for that catalog item so that it will capture those updates in that catalog item, right? Otherwise it will be like global only. So if you click here application um, picker in header, so if you click here, you are observing here the global it is appearing. So uh, actually this uh, application picker header it is visible in the in the instance. So if you click show update set pickle in head. Uh, if you click here in the show update set picker in header, here also you can see update set picker. Right, so here JavaScript plug field launcher, it will display here if you if you click on on that, right? Automated test framework page inspirator. This one we are not using much right now. You can able to switch to your UI 15 to your old UI as well by clicking this button. Right, see this is our old UI. So I want to go back to my the new UI, see here, if we click on the button, it will be resume back. So switch UI 115 and you can switch UI 116 as well. So right, so this is actually all about the navigation steps, all the stuff which you can able to see it, right? So here you can see, uh, here you can see minimize navigator. Uh, here you can see minimize navigator. Whenever you can click in this minimize navigator, this filter navigator will filter navigation will be hiding, right? See here. So whenever you can uncheck this one, you can able to see normal view. Whenever you want to hide the filter navigation, you can click on this minimize navigator, right? So uh, here. So user menu, we are already talked about that user menu profiles and evaluate and rules and you can log out from the system, you can use this and you can impersonate with the user uh, with this user menus, right? So this is all about how you can able to navigate to the service now pages and service now main components, how it will be useful for users and uh, by using the